Well, the annual Rubber Ducky Race and Festival returns to Lancaster County this Sunday, benefiting the Shriver Center for Pediatric Development. And we're so happy to have with us this morning, James DeBoard, president of Shriver Center for Pediatric Development. Good morning, James. Thanks so much for coming out. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So these uh, Rubber Ducky races, they're a lot of fun. I know you got to be really excited for this weekend. We really are. This is actually an historic event. We've been around doing this for, well, Shriver's been around for 90 years. We've been doing this fundraising event for 36 years. Uh, and this is the first time ever where instead of dumping the ducks into the river, we're having people participate in a road race uh, around our complex. So a little different, the, ra the, the, ru the duckies aren't going into the water, but you're going to see them in a larger scale race around. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's a gonna, lot of fun still. Absolutely. It's going to be lots of fun. We have a festival. Um, it'll take place from 2 to 5 uh, at our facility. People can come out. We actually just went through a big multi-million dollar expansion uh, to be able to provide more services. So people will be able to see that. There'll be food trucks, fun, game prizes, all kinds of great things going on. Which is great because you want to have fun, but really what it all comes down to is supporting you guys. Tell us how this event really supports you in that mission. So Schreiber over the last 12 years uh, has doubled its budget. And uh, the reason that's important is 12 years ago, Schreiber had two-year wait list. A child needed a speech evaluation to overcome a speech impediment uh, issue. And they were told, the parents were told, that your child had to wait two years just to get an evaluation. We've grown. We've hired more staff. We've built more space. The problem with that is the reimbursements, which every child with special needs is covered by Medicaid. The reimbursements haven't gotten better, so we lose $2.7 million of what is now a $6 million budget every year to provide those services. So without philanthropy and people in the community supporting what we do by buying rubber duckies and coming to our events, we couldn't be there to change the lives the way we do. Hey, you, you briefly touched on, I know, one of the many things I'm sure you do, but for people at home that don't know, what is Shriver? What do you guys do? So we are outside of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, the largest provider of outpatient rehab services, rehabilitation services for children. So physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, rec programming, uh, preschool, uh, child care programs for children with special needs and disabilities. And these are children not only born with what are called congenital disabilities, so the children born with spina bifida and Down syndrome and muscular dystrophy and cerebral palsy, but we see scores of children every year who have acquired disabilities, who are victims of child abuse, um, accidents, other things that impact their lives, that cause their disabilities. And Shriver's goal is to take these children and be able to make them the best, most independent people they can be so that they can grow to be independent adults in the community. So obviously very important work that you're doing. So let's say somebody at home, they watch, they can't make it out to the rubber ducky race. How can they help? Because you mentioned how important the philanthropy is. So there are other ways that people can uh, lend a hand. Absolutely. They can go onto our website at shriverpediatric.org. They can buy duckies if they want to participate. Um, really, the way it works is we used to dump lots of duckies in the river, and eventually we just got so much support, it was overwhelming for the number. So now it's just like a lottery drawing. The way people buy a lottery ticket, you can go online, buy, really adopt a ducky is how we refer to it. And all of that money goes directly to our Kids Care Fund, which provides the compensation to cover that massive loss that we experience every year to provide these services to the children who need it. All right, so we're sold. We love it. We want to come out. The who, what, where, and when. So this coming Sunday, September 8th, uh, it goes from 2 to 5 o'clock. It's at our uh, facility, which is located in Lancaster. Uh, we are at 625 Community Way. If you want to put it into your uh, Waze or Google to find us, uh, come on out. As I said, there'll be festivals, uh, festival events, uh, games. We'll have food trucks there, and there'll be road races. That uh, There's a mile run for people that really like to run. There's a corporate fun run where they're passing a, a rubber ducky yeah. Floaty. You don't have to go too, too hard. On Lots it. of great pictures yeah. to share at office events. And, uh, of course, there'll be a duckling dash for the littlest children to well, participate, which is going to be cute. All yeah. right. Thank you so much. Hey, if you, don't worry. If you missed some of that information, we're going to put it on our website, fox43.com.